Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will continue with the videos dedicated to the use cases for the integration between GIF WooCommerce subscription and GIF WooCommerce membership. Depending on the configuration of the plugin, a user can become a member by simply registering on the website or by purchasing a specific product. Today we will learn how we can sell access to an online course and how to configure both plugins, GIF subscription so the users that purchases the course can pay for it in the form of a yearly subscription and GIF membership to make sure all those members who have subscribed can have access to the pages with all the video lessons. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect, guys! Here, we are inside the demo I used to record all the tutorials. In this case, I have created this page with some videos to learn how to play chess in 9 lessons. If we review our page, we have here all of the videos from the number 1 up to the video number 9. Now, the issue we currently have with this page is that anyone that has the URL will be able to access it and see all of the lessons we have here. So, in this video, what we want to achieve is to create a subscription product so only those users who subscribe will be able to access this page and see all of the videos. So, first of all, what we need to do through GID subscription plugin is to create our subscription product. For that, we can go directly from here to New and click on Product. Here, I will begin with the product name. I will enter online course, learn how to play chess in 9 lessons. Now, the most important thing for our product is that we need to enable it as a subscription. For that, we need to go over here to the product data section and select this option, subscription. Now I'm going to enter the price, which will be $250. And next, we need to configure the subscription settings, mainly to configure the frequency of the payment. For that, we stop here on this option, users will pay every, and I'm going to enter one, and here the option years. So in this case, it will be a yearly subscription. Now I want to enter a small description, so we scroll down, and over here I'm going to enter this message. Complete guide to learn chess, a journey through the different opening strategies. Now, before we publish our product, I want to also set a product image. So we go over here, I will click and I will select now our image, set as product image. Perfect, here we have it and now we are ready to save. So I'm going to publish our product and now I'm going to click here so we can go ahead and see the result. Here we have our subscription product and we can see the detail of the payment, which, just like we configure, is going to be $250 per year. Now, in this case, all our users are able to go here and subscribe to this product. However, there is still one more step that we need to do in order to achieve the final result we want, which is to restrict access to our videos page only to those users who purchase this subscription. To achieve this, we need to go now to our plugin GIF membership. For that, let's go over now to our dashboard. We find GIF and we click on membership. From here, we need to go over to membership plans because we want to create a new one for our example. To create the new plan, all we need to do is click on this button, add new plan, and we will see this page. First of all, I will enter the new plan title. In this case, I want to call it Chess Student Plan. And now we need to configure how we want to enable access for this specific plan. In this case, what we want to do is enable the access to our Chess Student Plan to all of those users who previously purchased a specific product, which is our subscription product we just created using GIF subscription plugin. For that, we need to go over here to the options and over here, enable the first one. Allow access to this plan after purchasing a specific product. 
So we're going to enable it. And from this next field, we're going to search for the product we created. In this case, our online course. Here we have it. Perfect. Now we need to go over to the permissions section, specifically to the pages, because from here we're going to be able to manage the access to the restricted areas we want to create. And in this case, we're working with the video page. So we go here to pages accessible with this plan and we're going to enter our videos page. Here it is. Perfect. In this case, we are ready on this part of the configuration so we can go ahead and publish our new membership plan. However, in order to complete the configuration, we need to go over to the general options because now we want to configure the access to the restricted content. For that, we stop here on this option, how to manage access to restricted content, where we will find three different options. Either hide the content so only the members will view the restricted contents and the non-members will be redirected to an error page. Then we have the second option, which is to show a limited content and then redirect so the non-members will see only a partial content and then they will be redirected to a specific URL we can set. And finally, we have this option to show alternative content. In this case, the full content will be only accessible to the members, but you will be able to create an alternative content that the non-members will be able to see. And this is exactly the option I want to show you today. So I'm going to leave it selected. And then from the following option, we can manage which alternative content we want to include, for which we have two different options. Either set an alternative content from here, and then we will be able to enter it in this field, or you can also load an alternative content block. In this case, I'm going to leave this option selected, and then I'm going to enter the alternative content message over here. Access to the video lessons is only available for subscribed users. In this case, this is the message all of the non-member users will see if they arrive to the restricted video page. Now, I'm going to save the options because I want to show you the result from the two perspectives. First, I'm going to open our videos page from an incognito window so we can see it as a non-member and then I'm going to open it as a member who has already subscribed. Let's go ahead. Okay, here we are in our videos page from an incognito window, which means that we are viewing this page right now as a non-subscribed user. For this reason, all we can see in this page is the message we have just configured from our plugin GIF membership, which is that access to the video lessons is only available for subscribed members. This means that only those users who previously purchased the subscription product will be able to come to this page and have access to all of the videos we have posted previously here. Now let's see the same page, but this time as a subscribed member. Okay, here we have it. And as you can see, immediately we see the difference. In this case, since I'm seeing this as a subscribed member, I am able to have access to all of the videos we have included in our page. So we can now learn how to play chess. As you can see, the integration between our two plugins, GIF subscription and GIF membership, can create amazing functionalities for your store. All you need to do is play around with these two plugins to create the exact results you are looking for. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.